step into the world of Kumiko woodwork, and witness the stunning fusion of ancient Japanese woodworking and painting techniques with Setsuo and Keisuke. Follow Setsuo's journey as he learns from the craft day by day, and explores the natural beauty of the Japanese Alps to bring his paintings to life. Learn how they incorporate traditional techniques and modern approaches to create three-dimensional art that truly embodies Japanese culture. Now we're gonna show you how we craft Kumiko by making a coaster. There are various types of Kumiko. However, the basic process involves inserting leaf motifs within a base frame, which is made using three-way wooden joints. Wood comes in various colors. Combining these colors paints a pattern. I will now make a hemp leaf motif coaster made using three-way wooden joints. First, I will go through the process of assembling the base frame. Among the prefabricated parts, there are three long pieces. One of those pieces has grooves cut to a third of its depth, front and back, in opposite directions. The other has an X-shaped groove in one direction. The groove consists of one cut that is two-thirds of the wooden piece's depth and another cut that is a third of its depth. We will assemble these first. First, we will insert the piece with the one-way groove into the piece with grooves on both the front and reverse sides. You will not be able to insert it in the reverse orientation so insert it in the direction of the cut. If we insert this piece in here next, the smaller pieces won't fit. So I'll leave this to the side. There are six slightly smaller pieces. Here again, we have two pieces with grooves on both sides. And four pieces with grooves in one direction only. We will now assemble these pieces. With this piece turned over on this side, insert one of the smaller pieces with grooves on both sides into the vertical slot. We do the same on the other side. At this time with the long end facing towards yourself. Once we've assembled the coaster up to this stage, we insert the last remaining long piece in this direction.
Then, in any order, we insert the four identical smaller pieces. Now, turn it upside down. And you have a hexagon. We will now begin inserting Kumiko pieces called a hemp leaf into the completed hexagon. We have two types of Kumiko, longer and shorter pieces. The longer piece has a groove cut in the center. If you fold it inwards, you get this shape. The smaller leaves called struts are inserted at this angle. Now, let's insert these into the base frame. When assembling the hexagonal base frame, there were two pieces with grooves on only one side and one with grooves on both sides. The piece with grooves on both sides is placed vertically for assembling these pieces. We can place these hemp leaf pieces this way or that, but they will look more beautiful if we place them symmetrically. Please be careful not to fold this piece in the opposite direction, or it will break. With the long piece with grooves on both sides placed vertically, we insert the folded piece here in this shape. Then, we insert the smaller piece to meet the folded side first, pressing down gently. Make sure that the top edge of the smaller piece is parallel to the base frame. Then, tap it lightly from the top with a flat object to push it in completely. Insert the other pieces in the same way. Again, insert the smaller piece to meet the folded side first. If you don't have anything to strike with, you can simply push it in with your fingers. Again, insert the other pieces in the same direction. Now, you have three hemp leaf motifs inserted into the base frame in the same direction. We reverse the coaster and repeat the process, inserting the pieces in the same way. As the stiffness of the pieces somewhat varies, Sometimes you may have to apply quite a lot of pressure to push it.
The coaster is now complete. Thank you.